Welcome back to Train Pro. Uh, this is Bruce, and I just wanted to share with you today how we're going to go ahead and graphically estimate a roof in Sketch. So I've already got my roof pre-drawn in here, and we'll go ahead and look at this in 3D view real quick. Let's see, I got my 3D roof. I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to outline view. I like that mode better. I can really kind of see what's happening in that outline mode, but. So we basically have one large hip with another hip offset, a couple of dormers coming off the back side, and some extensions and overbuilds on the front and right hand side here. So in order to graphically estimate this, <clears throat> what I'll need to do is come up here in the search window, and I'm going to go ahead and do a little RFG, and we'll go ahead and give it a 30 year roof. So we're going to do RFG 300. And I'm going to come out here and you'll see my mouse is now loaded where I could come out here and actually highlight the entire roof and click. Now what I want you to pay attention to is the little balloon that's flying around here with my mouse and it says place RFG 300 and it has the remove and replace and it's going to be laminate shingles with felt. You'll see it also says right click to change and most most estimators here working in Xactimate are fine. Don't ever pay attention to that little bottom one that says right click to change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click out here in this and it's going to show me additional items that I can do. So I'm going to size this up a little bit larger so I can see the extra items that I could add down here with those shingles. So first of all, I got my RFG 300 and it's remove and replace. Well, I want to go ahead and do that and I want to make that as a replace only item. If I want to add waste to it, I can go ahead and use my waste selector. I can either auto calculate, uh, but most of the carriers like to use a set percentage. And on this roof here, it would probably be 15% for most insurance carriers. I can set my depreciation here if I'd like as well. And then I have all my additional items that I may need to add to that roof. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and do a tear off of those shingles since I did replace only with waste. Down here, I'm going to say I want to tear off as well, so I'm going to do a tear off, and that's haul and dispose of. If I need to put any starter strips, depending on the type of shingles and who we're doing the work for, some carriers will allow you to add the starter starter strip, others do not. If I need drip edge, I can say yes, there's drip on that home. If I need to change it to a replace only line item, because maybe that carrier I'm working for says we're going to do drip as a replace only line item, I could change that here as well or I can leave it back at remove and replace. If I have any chimney flashings, I could select my chimney flashings. Let's say I have a large chimney flashing. If I have any pipe jacks, I could add in some pipe jacks, whether standard pipe jacks or a lead. Now, what I'm going to suggest that you do here is if you add in your vents right here, I find it's the easiest way to do is add in your vents and then go back at the estimate level and add in the actual quantity of each of those vents. And I'll show you why in a second. So let's say we have some uh, standard pipe jacks on here. As we go through the list, you'll see we have some stuff we could add for high charges, uh, power vent covers, ridge cap, maybe I got some high profile ridge. I've also got sheathing. I got additional charge for a steep roof being sheathed. Got my OSB. I've also got steep charges for my roof. Now this roof here, uh, as I drew it, my left and right facing slopes are at a 10-12 and my front and rear facing slopes are an 8-12. So I'm going to have two different steep charges here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the first one, which would be my front and rear slopes, to show you how I would handle that. Okay, and then maybe I have some roof turbines as well, if I have any step flashings, and I have some valley metal. So we're going to select all these items. Now everything is going to be consistent across my roof with the exception of my steep charges. Again, there's a difference on my front and my rear from my left and my right. So I'm going to click OK here. And I want you to pay attention what highlights when I click over the roof. When I move over the entire roof on the main roof section right here, this is main, and if I just move my cursor over the whole roof where no face uh, number or roof uh, identification is highlighted, it's like it highlights the entire roof. If I want to do just say this one dormer and I move my mouse over that dormer, that, that roof, it'll turn just that 
to green, which says that's where I'm going to place it. If I want to do one specific slope, I will move my cursor right over that slope name. And you'll see that's the only thing it's going to highlight. So I want to do my front and my rear slopes at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and go onto my face one, which is my rear slope. I've clicked, and you'll see if I move off, it shows it's still highlighted. I'm going to do this front slope here. this front slope here at this front slope here here I'll just kind of continue through real quickly and get the rest of my front slopes and then everything else on here is a left and right facing slope so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click again out in the open I'll size this back up so you can see And here I'm going to keep everything as is with the exception of the steep charges. I'm going to unclick the 7 through 9, 12, and I'm going to put the 10 through 12, 12, because these left and right facing slopes we said were a 10, 12 pitch. I'll click OK again. Everything else is still highlighted on there, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight. And I'll zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to highlight that roof there. I like this roof here. Get this one here. My lower roof here. My upper roof here. So now you see everything has been highlighted green. So at this point, when I come back to my estimate items, you'll see it's added in my shingles. And all you typically do is since I selected RFT 300, that's the first line, I'm going to drag my tower off and put that up first. So you can see my quantity, I have 45.14 squares coming off. Going back with my shingles with waste, I got 52 squares. I got my drip edge and it's calculated out on my drip edge the perimeters of that roof. I've got my chimney flashing, but I do need to set the corner. I got one chimney flashing. I'm going to put in my pipe jacks. I had four pipe jacks. It's automatically calculated my my high profile ridge. It's got my tear off of my steep and my replacer steep with the waste on it. I've got my turbines. I had four turbines. My valley metal was calculated using the roof valley calculations. And here are my steep charges as well. And I would probably go ahead and grab these two steep charges here uh, and put those up with the other steep charges because the first set are for my 7 9 pitch and the remainings are for my 10 uh, 10 12 pitch roof right here. And that's pretty much it for graphically estimating by right clicking again and selecting the multiple options at one time. I hope that helped. Uh, visit us again at gotrainpro.com or uh, give us a call if you're interested in some additional trainings. We'd love to help you out. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.